His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa toured yesterday at the beaches of the Egyptian resort of city of Sharm El Sheikh and viewed the efforts of the Egyptian government to develop the tourism sector in the stunning area, which features resorts that attract tourists from across the globe. His Majesty the King hailed the tourism facilities at Sharm El Sheikh Resort with its rich environment and diverse locations, which create a boon for tourists and visitors. He hailed the projects undertaken in the resort, as well as the diverse, rich programs and activities being lined up to attract tourists from all over the world. He said that development programs in Sharm El Sheikh prove that Egypt is a country of security, adding that Egypt will always be strong thanks to its leadership, its government and its people. During his tour with the accompanying delegation, His Majesty the King swam in the sea at one of the beaches of Sharm El Sheikh Resort and played beach volleyball and golf. He stressed the importance of such sports which enable people to keep fit and entertain themselves so as to perform better at work and also stressed the importance of people taking full advantage of holidays to entertain themselves at local Gulf and Arab tourism resorts. At the end of his tour, His Majesty the King expressed his confidence that Egypt would be a prime destination for Arabs and from people across the globe, adding that diversification sources of revenue would yield economic prosperity. His Majesty the King also visited Sharm el Sheikh city and was welcomed by South Sinai Governor Major General Khalid Fouda and senior officials who hailed his visit, which they said reflects the existing strong bilateral relations. His Majesty the King told Naama Bey and King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa Highway and met a number of Arab and foreign tourists holding cordial talks with them. He stressed the importance of Sharm el Sheikh city, which has hosted many regional and international conferences and key events, underlining its contribution to Egypt's economic revenue. He commended the efforts of the Egyptian government to ensure security at tourist facilities and the provision of premium services for visitors and tourists and wished Egypt further progress and prosperity and led by, Pres led by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi.
His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today in Bahrain after an official visit to the Egyptian city of Sharm el Sheikh at the invitation of Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, in which he discussed with the Egyptian President a number of regional and international issues. On arrival, His Majesty received by, was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Earlier, His Majesty the King was seen off by the Governor of South Sinai, Major General Khalid Fouda, Bahrain's ambassador to Egypt, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, and senior Egyptian officials. His Majesty the King held a telephone call with the Egyptian President, Abdel Fattah El Sisi, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm reception and generous hospitality. He affirmed that this visit would strengthen joint bilateral cooperation and coordination and achieve both countries' aspirations in many fields, wishing Egypt and its people further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of the Egyptian President, Abdel Fattah El Sisi. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace British Conservative Party member MP Alan Duncan on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. His Majesty hailed the brotherly historic relations between the Kingdom and the UK in various fields. He also affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to enhance these relations in order to achieve the best interests of the two countries and their people. His Majesty briefed Mr. Duncan with the results of the successful visit to Egypt and affirmed the importance of supporting Egypt in combating extremism and terrorism. He discussed with the British MP the latest regional and international developments as well as topics of mutual interest. His Majesty also highlighted UK major role alongside the international community in maintaining regional peace and stability. The office of the first Deputy Prime Minister announced today the selection of 15 individuals for this year's first Deputy Prime Minister Programme Fellowship. The fellows were chosen from a pool of 700 applicants after successfully completing a rigorous application process which is based around the vision and objectives of the initiative. The 2000, the 2016 to 17 fellows who will be seconded from the respective government entities of the office of the deputy prime minister for one year are as follows ahmed abdulhay al awadi from the ministry of finance ahmed mohammed al turefi from the foreign ministry osama salah al alawi from the bahrain central bank amina isa jawad from ministry of health dalal ibrahim Blenis from the Foreign Ministry, Shaheen Sakar Shaheen from Bahrain Central Bank, Shaifa Al Hujeri from Bahrain Polytechnic, Ali Hassan Fardan from the Foreign Ministry, Fatima Walid Al Jalahma from the Interior Ministry, Fahad Abdulaziz Al Bunali from Interior Ministry. Mahmoud Mohammed Abdul Ghaffar from Bahrain Center for Strategic and International Studies and Energy, Marwa Mohammed Al Obeidli from Bahrain Center for Strategic and International Studies and Energy, Maria Maki Fardan from Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Mehdi Hamza Al Basri from the Ministry of Health, Wafa Abdul Hamid Al Baharna from the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism the Director General of the Office of the Deputy Prime Minister, His Excellency Sheikh Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa, highlighted that the ambitious FDPM Fellowship is in line with His, Majesty, 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's vision to continue to develop Bahrain's young leaders and enable them to actively contribute to the kingdom's growth and development. His Excellency noted that the FDPM Fellowship has been carefully designed to develop the Fellow's research, leadership and analytical skills and provide experience and insight into the formulation and implementation of government policies alongside the UFDPM officials. The Director General also highlighted the success and efforts of the first intake of the FDPM Fellows, specifically noting their professionalism and determination, and expressed his aspirations for the second group of the Fellows to build on their qualities displayed during the application process and to take advantage of all aspects of the year-long Fellowship opportunity.